What's up, everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here from the Disney Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about large parts of the monorail flying off and kind of landing in a car park at Epcot. Um, so this one kind of came out of nowhere. In, in some ways, when something like this happens, you know, sometimes it just literally is just a freak accident. Um, but also sometimes you kind of feel like the, the things at the parks, as much as they get a lot of safety checks, they get a lot of use. Oh, absolutely. This story, <laughs> I was very surprised when I heard about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a massive chunk. There's a guy kind of just standing here um, with this chunk. I mean, it is like this big, big chunk of metal. Um, they then, apparently, they then had to suspend uh, the monorail. Um, and they were apparently um, even evacuating people out of the, the... I suppose that's the thing of once one thing happens, they have to just clear it out and make sure everything's okay. Yeah, I was actually at Magic Kingdom when this whole incident happened that day. I so at first we thought it was the monorail that was taking every the resort monorail actually, but then we found out it was the Epcot monorail. And I was hearing different stories. I heard there was evacuations. I heard there wasn't evacuations. I heard something was on fire. So you know how people spend stories. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, because basically it probably went from it could have been from I mean other than the fact that the picture of the guy holding the thing you know it could have been like this big by the end of like the Chinese whispers kind of going around the internet and stuff it could have been an entire car had fallen off <laughs> it's just like right um, but definitely it's interesting the fact that this has happened um, almost in some ways as I said on a separate incident this could just be an, a pure accident you know you could have a, a something that big could have fallen off us this today and no one would have probably really found out about but the monorail is iconic but also epcot is aging and it is getting to that point of so much stuff that one there might have been you know not necessarily been around since day one but the whole infrastructure is just you know it's getting old and you know things sometimes do just go wrong that's true i mean i there's just been a lot of issues with the monorails over the past few years i, I mean i've been Told that they've been, you know, getting their normal maintenance, but it's, it's like, I mean, it's only been a few years since that unfortunate incident where the driver of the monorail passed away. I think that was only like maybe two years. No, it's that kind of thing as well. Sometimes, you know, you know, you think of how many, how many buses or how many cars have had accidents or something have fallen off around Disney World while they've been driving around, and it wouldn't get any attention. So then you've got to kind of take that into into, you know, how much things and it's the monorail so therefore it does get that much more attention but you know it's like with every business you know the way that the economy and everything has been going over really and everyone's trying to push that a little bit more um but at the same time disney will be so so strict on this they will probably check every single monorail make sure whatever has broken off um that they won't happen on the other ones oh yeah they um i actually saw an article where they had a Disney said that they are looking into the situation with the gentleman that found the piece that you know claimed mm. fell like out of the sky from the parking lot. And they're also, I, I'm not sure if it's still happening, but all rails are down mm. until they figure out what's going on with them. So well, this is yeah, they're taking it very seriously. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, with Disney first off, not only after they, they have to look at that pit, but they then actually got to go check and see if it actually happened because it'd be so easy for someone to fall it off in the hope to get you know, and it hit me and you know, I want some money. And it actually never even came off, so they have to go and check to make sure that it hasn't happened. But then, obviously, if it has, then safety just shut them all down. I mean, that's that is especially at the height of the summer, getting people not using the monorail as a major way of getting in and out. Of, you know, that is a major inconvenience. It is like, in, like especially with the recent news that all the Disney parks, man, in Shanghai has gone down at the time. Happened to anything, and then and any single track parts, things break down over it. And therefore, it is just how it can work. I mean, like, not everything is perfect. It's even with Disney attractions. Everything, I mean, they will malfunction sometimes, and it's out of our control. I did see just now that um that the people weren't evac, but they, they were able to get the monorail back to Epcot and have them safely removed. But they were yeah. in there without AC for about a good 30 minutes, which is uncomfortable. Yeah, especially in that Florida heat. Having had, we've got a little mini heat wave going here now, and uh, there's been a couple of times today when I've gone, yeah, it feels like, you know, it feels like we could be working over there in Florida. But it definitely, <laughs> um, like for me, I, you know, I, like I said before, I look at this and it, it isolated issue. If things break time, 
planes, trains, if there's moving parts, it can break and it will break eventually. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Like it's sometimes it's not in our control. We do everything to, you know, make sure it's up and running and it, it just happens. So mm -hmm. I mean, fortunately everyone was safely removed from the monorail and mm. Disney's doing what they need to do to make sure it's up, up and running again. Exactly. But if anyone has any comments on this, be sure to let us know what you guys think. As per usual, you can check us out over at thiskingdom.com. And if you can follow us. Whoa, we have an extra visitor there. You might have somebody Sorry. at the door. <laughs> the Someone is at the door. <laughs> and on that note, guys, you can find Victoria.